Good evening, everyone. I hope you're all ticket to and fabulous this fine Friday evening or afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Hope you're all well. Uh, we're starting up just in a couple of moments. We'll be with you very, very soon. Hello, good evening, good afternoon, good morning to you all. Hope you're well, hope you're all tickety-boo. Thank you for joining us. Thank you again. It's two weeks since you saw my lovable face. Yes, it's only two weeks ago. Um, good news and bad news. Yes, you've got me. Bad news is, unfortunately, uh, Eric's ill again. He's, uh, he's not a well chap at the moment. He's, uh, he's feeling it a little bit on the poorly side. So, um... He's with us in spirit, and we do send him uh, all our love to get better soon. But uh, yes, you're going to have to uh, put up with my death and destruction at the hands of the AI tonight in my hard mood run. So uh, uh, yes, I'm sure you'll all give me a load of uh, <laughs> abuse and, uh, and sorry, hints and tips. I think that's the word we're looking for. The yes, as uh, how to do it. But yeah, uh, so we've got uh, Lee. He's collating all our. Uh, questions which would be very helpful if I bring them up so I can actually see so if you do have any questions uh, do throw them towards Rockfish Games or RFG Lee whichever you want to do uh, and then we can take a look at those questions as we see fit so uh, yes I shall just bring those up and there bring that question to there there we go right slide that over there what we need oh right we have questions we can see things which is always good which is always good so uh, yeah uh, the plan will be uh, as we normally do we're going to do some gameplay on hard um uh like i said die probably quite a few times you know that's almost one of those good things uh periodically we'll look at the questions that you guys throw in uh, we're going to go over probably a few things that we mentioned in the last stream if you remember uh two weeks ago um we did have a um uh, a kind of little resume of, of the plans for 2024 uh, and what they're going to look like uh, uh, early part of 2024 anyway um, in terms of Unreal Engine 5 migration etc etc so there's a lot to um, kind of take in on that and I know we're going to get a lot of recurring questions but we'll touch on that a little bit um, specifically again just for reiterating everything uh, and then when we um, get to about every half an hour or something, then we'll look at the the kind of uh, <laughs> the uh, 
Uh, the remainder of the question I've just seen Lee put it is saying that he's just going to do the death tracker. Yes, uh, I think we're up to three already. I would say I've been practicing, but uh, I have been practicing, but not in the striker on hard mode, unfortunately. I've been flying other ships <laughs> of late, so uh, yes, it's uh, it's, it's going to be fun. I hope you can uh, can enjoy it for, for what it is. We know things can be difficult within the game, and this is a, a prime example of why you want to turn the difficulty up or turn it down, whatever suits. Uh, I recently just had a discussion on the Discord uh, about the difficulty level, and we just want people to have... Um, uh, a good experience so whether that's on very hard hard easy whatever it is as long as you have fun with the game and that's what we want um i'm still having fun i'm dying i'm entertaining you guys so you know why not hey, why, why not anyway so anyway we're gonna dive in we are on hard <clears throat> we'll see where we get to um now you might see right in that bottom corner way over there uh the version number that is the current dev build so we are running ue5 okay so this is the unreal engine 5 version if you see oddities if we see glitches if we see crashes this is all what happens when you upgrade an engine uh so i'm testing things you're getting that peek behind the curtain just to see how things are uh and you know let's let's see what we can find uh if we do spot anything oddity you know obviously we're kind of like yep yeah. We'll, be, we'll fix it we'll fix it we'll fix it but, uh, yeah we'll continue on let's see where we go but uh yes i hope you're all well hope you're all tickety boo hope you're all fabulous whatever you've been doing <laughs> and uh yes most of you've got the weekend coming up as well so that's all good that's all good so here we are in our striker our trusty little striker we are level five <clears throat> a little bit of cash some stocks and ready uh mission wise yeah, you can see we've got the Cito Ghost Hunt. Um, I'm, that's level seven. So what I need to do is really go around and get some maybe jobs done. Any little side missions just to increase that uh, XP and get me up to level six or around level seven. What you may find is that if your gear or if your um, skill level isn't as good um, as the level of the main mission, then you may need to just uh, build things up a bit, build things up. But yeah, so d keep firing those questions in as we're going through. Uh, if you have anything that you uh, need to know, then we'll try and answer it. We'll try and answer it. So uh, let's see, where should we go? See, so ghost. I'm not going to go there. So let's get flying. Let's let's head out of here. See where we head. All right. Okay, nice little thing there. We'll come back to with that. I think. Uh, having a quick look at the map. I think we may need to find some jobs. Um, now, if you notice these purple diamonds on your map, you'll find that they have enemies that are slightly above your level or the area is above your level. So you may need to just avoid them for the time being, obviously, because I'm level five and certain areas are around level seven, etc. So just take that as a warning. So we may go to Nefties uh, and go see if we can pick up some jobs from there. Let's, let's see. Excellent. Right. Let's head there. Let's head there. So just a, a, a brief thing about the Unreal Engine 5. We're doing a lot of work on it currently, obviously, as you know. Um, it's going to take a while to complete. Some people, are, you know, have mentioned that we're... Ooh, when's it coming out? Is it going to be coming out soon? No, we've got quite still a bit of work to do. And we will not release it until it's ready. Uh, you know, us guys over here, we like to do our due diligence and make sure things are good. Um, obviously bugs exist, we know this, you know, nothing's perfect in the world, but we're going to do our due diligence and make sure the game is in as good a condition as possible. Um, but yeah, it's just going to take time. So whilst it looks like we might not be doing a lot on the surface, underneath uh, and in the background, we are beavering away. Um, you know, there's a lot to, to accomplish. And, uh, you know, whether it's in the marketing, whether it's in the story writing, whether it's in uh, the active development side, there's so much going on so much going on so uh, yeah don't worry we're still working hard we're still working hard right let's dive into nefties hopefully not die yeah. GMB leave their mark everywhere they do indeed they leave their mark everywhere the GMB there we go let's get docked Right. Always good to see a friendly face. Indeed, it is, Officer Shaw. A new ship. A new ship. Certainly use the funds. Oh, 
You always have to have money, sure. You always have to have money. Do we want to buy a new ship? No. <laughs> Because we can't really afford one. Uh, just a little hint as well. If you're ever wondering what ships you can afford down that side, as you can see, the ones with the green credit symbol mean that you can afford them. Anything with a red credit symbol means that you can't afford them. So you'll have to save a little bit more cash. Now, you can see that as a trading price, it would cost me 16,290 credits for the Harbinger there on the Vanguard. I just haven't got enough yet. <clears throat> One good thing about the game, and I'm sure some of you are aware, uh, I am kind of preaching to the choir a little bit here, uh, is that the price that you buy a ship for is roughly the same as what you would sell it for. So you're not going to lose out too much in terms of uh, your credits. Uh, that's, the reason for that is that we want players to be able to swap the ships in and out and give them a little bit of a... Uh, a try is it not your thing well we don't want you to be penalized because you've all of a sudden you know lose a load of credits so uh, obviously if you want to upgrade and go to a higher tier then that is going to cost you more credits but even so when you do that if you sell that shit back you would still get roughly the same price as what you paid for it so <laughs> yeah yeah actually over on twitch these ships are cheaper than a house in some parts of the world indeed indeed not too, I'm not too sure how many places will take credits, but we'll, we'll, we'll go with it. We'll go with it. <laughs> oh, dear. So, yeah, we can't buy anything, but I'm going to have a look at the jobs. Now, like I say, I've been struggling a little. Uh, I, I will not deny that. Um, so making sure that I'm up a decent level to the things that I'm doing, so the missions that I'm doing, um, and also earning credits at the same time, and reputation, you know, so it, it kind of helps. It is a challenge. People might be thinking, ah, but, you know, these are just easy. Sometimes when you play on harder difficulty, you might want to stick with that kind of challenge, but you might be also struggling to get certain things. There's nothing wrong with doing available jobs or anything like that. You don't have to always follow and follow and follow the storyline. You do have to at a certain point, but maybe not for, for forever. You know, you can, you can diversify off and do a bit of trading if you want to as well. So we're going to have a look at this. We'll see what we can do. Uh, acquisition of goods. Mm, okay, maybe if we can buy some liquor, that would be funny if they were selling liquor here. That would be really, really funny. <sighs> Shucks. Um, <clears throat> lost cargo we could do. Um, so, okay, so that's that's close by. That is very close by, actually. So I think we might... Uh, um, we could always grab that. Minesweeper. Okay. That could be fun because uh, I, I might have the little oops there we go straight into a mine or two so we'll accept that one we'll do the mine sweep up <clears throat> we'll grab that uh item retrieval Ooh. that's going to be going into a, a a big problem isn't it yeah I think what we're going to do we're going to take the lost cargo we'll take the other lost cargo and then we'll take the item retrieval as well so you've got variety level fives level sixes uh, they will obviously appear here in your jobs if you should need to see what job you've got obviously you'll always see your main mission because that's the thing that's going to tick you on as you uh, uh carry on through the game but obviously your side missions your jobs etc uh, your job specifically will be highlighted in green side missions are in blue and then your main mission is in the uh, yellowy gold color so we will do minesweeper first so it's going to give us the coordinates we're tracking it anyway uh, so yeah, we can we can dash off back out of uh, Nefties. It is a wonderful looking place. If you've never taken a screenshot of uh, of Nefties, then you're missing out something. Really am. Excellent. If the volume levels uh, need tweaking or anything, just holler. Let me know. I can do some little bit of tweaking here and there. <laughs> Indeed. Where's the fun without a little challenge? Indeed. Oh, no, we don't want to go to Palaemons. Woo! There we go. We want to be going there for the green ones. <clears throat> uh, by the way, if you are looking at doing any kind of endgame, kind of rift area kind of te uh, territory, uh, have a look on our Discord in the build guides uh, section. Uh, we've got a wonderful guide built by Wizard Jerry. He's a whiz, <laughs> literally. He's a wizard uh, when it comes to the high level content. Um, and he has some very, very good builds there, for uh, specifically in a um, Google Doc that you can look at. Definitely worth checking out for some good ideas. You're a wizard, Jerry. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're not a wizard, Gary. Yeah, it doesn't have the same ring to it, does it? Right, so drones. Now, where are those mines? 
Where are those mines? Tell you what we're going to do though. We're going to get rid of you. We're going to get rid of you. And then we'll get rid of you. There we go. Oops, hello. That was going to be target. There we go. Whee. Oink. Right. So, minefield over there. We'll, we'll aim directly for it because that would be silly. But we can do this. Boink. Boink. Yay! Oh, actually, this one out. didn't die. <laughs> I call that win. <laughs> Stream over. <laughs> I don't think they do because you can't track a mine. Uh, unfortunately, you can obviously just track outlaws. Sorry, Super Scrapper was just asking about uh, thermal gullets tracking on mines, but no, because uh, they're kind of inanimate object. Um, and sadly, not. That would be very, very handy. <laughs> Usually, uh, a good tip, and I don't have one, unfortunately, uh, is a uh, flat cannon. They're very, very handy for dealing with things uh, of this nature. <clears throat> there we go. And there's another one. Uh, and luckily, ooh, we've got some nice shipwreck around here as well. There we go. Wiring kit. Hello. Stuff shipwreck. What you got? What you got in the shipwreck? <coughs> Whoop, fly past. Uh, clothing, ethian crystal. Okay, and some super gel. I am usually a heavy fighter. Um, when it comes to, I missed something. Oh, I did. Uh, when it comes to the ships, so um, using anything smaller than the gunship feels very, very strange, especially without the um. Uh, the cargo capacity. <laughs> Give me all the room. I think it's uh, I think it's my um, my trader at heart. You know, I like to carry stock and sell it and make a profit that way. Kind of kind of person I am. I'm a trader, not a fighter. There we go. Right, one there. Boom. Is that it? Yes. Come on. That's that. That's that. Hello, this Nefty Station. You're speaking to Nefty Station. Job's complete. Good. I want my payment. Signature's fine. Oh, hello. Let's go help out former GMB that we're just getting attacked there. So uh, let's go see what we can uh, help out here. Oh, thank you. Shield, shields. Yeah, that didn't go very well. We did it. And you. Oh, we just got a hit there. How nice. <laughs> oh, hello. We missed more stuff. Missed more stuff. <laughs> Raising. There we go. Credits. More credits. Uh, railgun and a sensor, which is actually worse than what we've got. You can see our inventory is starting to pick up. Uh, yeah, we've only got one slot left, so uh, we'll dismantle that for parts. Railgun. Okay. I'll just dismantle that scatter gun i'm not a fan but when you dismantle <clears throat> obviously you'll get parts or blueprints uh especially early on you do need to uh have a um uh, a good uh, amount of crafting available to you which obviously you'll get from dismantling things so where's uh a means to an end right i think we can get out of here now well actually did we claim we need to claim that don't we claim our rewards there we go Ready does. <coughs> Good. <laughs> I've just seen one of the upcoming questions. <coughs> yeah, if you do have any questions, please do hammer them in to uh, uh, to um, to Lee, who's manning uh, the the document so that we can keep track of everything. We will look at them in about uh, probably about another 10, 15 minutes or so, uh, etc. So. Uh, Right, let's do that one, shall we? An item retrieval. Why do I feel like this one's going to go wrong and I'm going to get absolutely jumped by something? We shall see, we shall see. Here we are. Now let's see who's got the goods. Yeah, who's got the goods? OK. 
Okay, outlaws are taking on something over there. Oh, they're taking on. I'll tell you what, I'm going to take these out first. Madcap. Oh, we know what happens with madcaps, don't we? It always goes pear shit with madcaps, doesn't it? There we go. Oh, hello, GK. That's always good. We don't want to hit the GMB fighter, but we do want to hit that madcap. Now, while we've got GMB here, they can help us deal with these. Unless they start jumping out, which is never a good idea. There you go, you can go. I'll take that, thank you. Yeah, there we go. Right. Are you boys hanging around at all, or are you, are you gonna go? Ooh, hello, mines. If I can clear these, all that loot will be mine too. Right. Have to be careful here because we may get to a point of too full when it comes to stuff in our inventory. Lots of things, lots of things. Uh, hello. Not uh, bonking to them. And the injectors, good, good, good. Right, let's head over here and let's antagonize these level six boys. Ooh, nearly went straight into that asteroid. Not be a good thing. Right, uh, last group. Let's see what they've got. If they've got the goods that we're after. There you are. Boom. I'll use my G key just so everybody knows. You know, everybody's aware then. Boom. There we go. Oh. Nice. I got rid of them. Cool. Uh, excellent. Did we miss anything around here? I don't think we did, did we? That's always good. That's always good. Now. Hmm. Okay. Data. Special item. New container. Cool. Well, it looks like we will have to uh, take that back. Uh, yep. Yeah, so that bring the container back to Nefty's PlayStation. So if you're ever thinking, hang on, what do I do now? Always check your missions. They will update. Uh, now we need to do the lost cargo. But I think what I need to do is just go back to Nefty's, dump this off uh, to start with, uh, and then make room out of my inventory. Oh, hello. That just popped up. A nice little container. Boop. <laughs> Nanobots and plasma. Nice. Right, let's head out of there. Let's go, let's go. <clears throat> So yeah, about 10 minutes time, we'll have a look at the questions that are coming in. Uh, if you do uh, have any questions about anything to do with Everspace 2, uh, just type them in the chat. Uh, Lee will pick them up, who's under Rockish Games uh, there. So, uh, some things we'll definitely be able to answer, some, some things that we might be able to answer, some things that we can't answer, you know. Uh, so uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Can I just say we've we've been playing about 20 minutes and I've not died yet. I'm calling that a win. I'm calling that a win. <laughs> I think if I'd have gone to Palermon's wound, to be fair, <laughs> I wouldn't have, uh, you know, kind of survived. If I'm honest, I think that would have been uh, a whole world of pain. A whole world of pain. There we go. So, yep, we're just going to do that. You can see we're sneaking nearly, nearly up to level, uh, to level six uh, just by doing the jobs and some renown as well and credits. So it's all good. All good. Right. Let's get up there. So you return. Yes. And right on time, I'd say we've got new assignments on the job board. Oh, are we lucky? There we go. Right. So that's completed. That's given us some credits as well. Ooh, we got some renown as well. Okay, okay. So if we look at um, <coughs> renown, sorry, looking at that. Now, obviously, at a certain level, you'll see that we will sneak through uh, onto level two, and then you can claim a reward. Now, little tip for you: if you're like me, you are very, very close to leveling. Uh, so I'm going to be coming level six very, very soon. I would suggest 
waiting until you get to that next level before you claim the reward. The reason being is that things such as the Jaeger there will be a level 5 because that is the current level that you are. So if you hold off until level 6, then you'll get a level 6 reward. So just uh, just hold off, uh, even if it's a little, a little while. We're going to be working towards the Veteran, which will give us a tuned Energizer SP, Marksman Destabilers and Peacemakers, Credits and Decals, etc. And uh, various other benefits as well. Uh, nice little amount there. Nice little amount. A bit of frog says, I never claim any job rewards until level 30. That's a very good tip. Very good tip as well. So, uh, um, do you want the blueprint? We can't use it just yet. Uh, we've got a six there ST. Okay. I think I'm going to wait for the ST. So I'm going to sell that one off. Output to the weapons, but we're going to lose a lot there. So we're not going to do that. That's a blood star energy core. I like the blood star calls. They're very, very nice. They're very, very nice. Um, now, in terms of commodities, resources, selling, etc., trading as a such is just a tiny bit of the game. It's not something that we wanted it to be a focus of. It's just a nice addition, a nice to have. But you can make some decent money from it, and you can, you know, earn XP, blah, blah, blah. Now, what I do during my playthrough is uh, if I've picked something up literally from space, anything I sell it for is going to be profit, you know? salvage rights etc so it's not cost you anything about you know a bit of flying around time and stuff like that so pretty much i just sell it all there are certain things that you may wish to cut keep hold of <laughs> funnily enough there's liquor remember the job that was here earlier guess what i might be able to do that one medicine etc clothing yeah so i'll just sell the clothing off i don't want any of that uh anything else we want to keep we've got the rockets we're keeping all the rockets we've got a maximum railgun i'm going to dismantle that just because oh there we go challenge complete dismantle 20 common items yeah go right let's just have a look at the jobs okay so literally obviously they've seen <laughs> uh dear colonial research station so we need five of that <clears throat> so five of those that we've got and we've got to take it to Cito Orbit, which is the Colonial Research Station. So I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll pick that one up because we've got room now. We've got room. And we've got the goods. It's very, very handy. So always have a look. Uh, another item retrieval job as well. We'll take that as well. Yeah. Oh, it's good. Uh, anything else we want to sell? So we don't need the medicine. Uh, so we'll sell that. Get some money for that. And seeds. We'll get rid of that as well. My capacity web missiles. They can be quite handy. You can see we've got some things lined up there. Blaster. No, oh, we'll get rid of. The old shield we'll get rid of. Uh, let's plunk them into there. We're going to sell that one for bits. We're going to keep hold of that. Nanobots. Small. We've got one medium. I'll tell you what, we'll put the medium in. We'll keep hold of that. Uh, energy injector. Yeah, we'll keep hold of that as well. Plunk that there. Rockets. Mm, what are you? You're a two. Oof, gosh, we don't really want them, do we? We'll dismantle them for the uh, uh, blueprint. And they're only level two as well, so we'll just dismantle them. So <clears throat> we've given ourselves a little bit of space. You can see that there's going to be a few things that we're going to be able to put on to our... Uh, that we've collected, which are level six. So we've just got to wait. We've just got to wait. Uh, so, yeah, let's go on another little mission. Uh... Well, we'll see where we can get to with that one, shall we? Let's have a look. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Hmm. We may wait on that one. We may wait on that one. That one could be interestingly fun. Okay, so let's do that one instead. Right, let's go then. Let's head on. We'll get this one done, then we'll start answering our first batch of questions. Monetary obstruction, how rude. Who put that planet in the way? Uh, so yeah, anybody that's joined us late, uh, unfortunately Eric's uh, still a, a little bit poorly. Uh, the poor guy can't catch a break with, at the moment, but um, hopefully he'll be back with us very, very soon. Uh, but yeah, he's been a bit ill this Forty-four. There we go. So we're going quite close to uh, on the way. 
The other thing is, well, remember to look out for these unknown regions. You are going to need to fly through them all at some point. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to veer off slightly to the left. Change the direction that I'm going. There we go. So that's unlocked the hinterlands, which is here. So if we turn a little bit further left and then a bit further, I want to say south. There we go. Open space. So that opens that up. And then obviously we've just got to find that unknown region there. But you'll do eventually most of the time if you're kind of following any type of um, mission line. Hey, you've got to swear to the music, Pesky. If, if, the, if the music doesn't get you, oof. Let's just say, are we nearly there? Oh, hello, we're going in the way wrong direction, aren't we? There we go. Too busy thinking about the music. You gotta love the music. So if we actually head towards Palermo's Moon, then we're gonna go into there, and then we'll as soon as we unlock this region, we'll cut back towards there. Ooh, Wine Duchess is there as well. Oh nearly. She's nearby. So let's just head towards Palermo's Moon. We're not gonna go there. So as soon as we get the notification, should be very, very soon. A lot of people are talking about the how they love the soundtrack. The soundtrack is available. If you want to get it, you can. Uh, we've just recently updated it as well to the amount that you get. There we go, Shattered Planetoid. So that's a challenge complete for visiting all of Tito's regions. It's very, very nice. Which actually, we can just have a look at actually on here on the challenges <laughs> so with CETO Explorer you can see we've done all the regions and we've still got to do some more stress calls and then the location challenges within that region as well so uh, yeah and then you'll unlock the master challenge which you'll find out from, uh, from there uh, I did see uh, a question that just went through I'm just going to answer it before we do the rest of the questions uh Speed Fragger, I know you're talking about the load screens, uh, obviously with how, which you'll see shortly, where I go into uh, load into a planetoid or whatever. Um, the reason for that is that there's a technical challenge about there's a lot of calculations that happen when you go into a area. Uh, it's not all just, let me just pause it. It's not all just a load screen just for the sake of a load screen. There is calculations that happen in the background they have to happen, uh, and it's just the way that the game is. We would love to do Seamless, but the, there's not many games out there that do do Seamless, and they don't do it necessarily correctly or well. So, unfortunately, we will not be getting rid of those. It'd be something that we'd love to do, absolutely love to do, but sadly, we uh, it's not something that we can do. Um, uh, yeah, Lee, just to update on that one about the soundtracks, we added another 27 27 tracks uh to the soundtrack uh in december 27 uh, it is amazing to listen to yeah why would you not want to listen to the music so anyway here we are uh the cargo has to be somewhere around here the cargo has to be here somewhere oh hello blood star prospector mm, okay let's get you out of the way get you out of the way first Hello. You can go away. There we go. Oh, and that is our level up. <laughs> oh, hello. Somebody else is coming in for a piece of the action. Let me just change to some rockets, I think. Let's just hop away. Yeah, just out of range. Oh, it's got a big 
Oh, it's going to be careful. So we have hit level six, so we will hit a little bit harder. You are going to get hit in the face. Boom. Go. Yeah. Nice. Right, let's just check around here then. Okay, there's a shipwreck. Still search. Still credit. I like that. I like that. There's a container over there. Come on, let's grab the wiring kit. Not what we need it. Oh, hello. Look at that little green beacon. That would be the mine that I tossed and it didn't do anything. <laughs> we may use that. <laughs> or it won't. It'll just blow up in my face. <laughs> Weber drone. I do not want him to be dealing anything to me. Thank you. You're gone. You're gone. Where are you? Madcap, you can stay way over there. And you. Things that blow up in my face as well. Oop. Ramen! We've got ramen. We always need some ramen. Always, always. Right, there we go. New container. Thank you. Didn't find that over on the other side, so we'll have to do a little bit of looking for that. Right. Let's just hold on there, because we're just going over the time. So I'm just going to start answering some questions. If you do have any more, please do throw them in. Just as we look at some of the ones that we have right now. So, uh, over on YouTube, first off, we have Louis Long. Uh, he's asking, uh, why do ships explode? Well, those nasty AI or asteroids and things that hurt do want to blow you up, unfortunately. Um, so, yeah, a bit, uh, bit of combustion, explosion, decompression, all that kind of things. Yeah, unfortunately, that one. Uh, species 1571 over on YouTube. Uh, in your head, Canon, are we always buying ships then if they don't lose much value? Um, I think what we've, with regards to ship buying, it's a case of we want people to try the different ships. We know from the statistics that a lot of people still stick with the Sentinel because it's the start of ship. So we do want players to diverse or diversify their play style. Some people do, some people don't. They get a little bit. Um, I kind of think they get used to the Sentinel because you get to play it for uh, used ships. Okay. Uh, oh, used ships. Oh, so, sorry. Yeah, sorry there, Species. I, I say that now. Uh, yes, pretty much, yeah. Uh, th there's a lot of rotation. So, yeah, um, you're using used ships. So, yeah, because your ship then goes into the rotation of um, buying and selling as well for a little while. You'll see it there so you can buy it back. Somebody may come along and, and buy it. So, yeah, but generally there's not many new manufacturers around uh, creating new ships or anything like that because of obviously uh, the whole war ending. Uh, but yeah, pretty much if there's something there, then yeah, you can, you can, you can buy it. You can buy it. Uh, so, um, <laughs> uh, Louis Long, um, will I fight a boss on stream? Maybe. Um, I'm not entirely sure. It depends how far we get. Uh, within uh, within the storyline. We'll have to wait and see on that one. So uh, we shall see. We shall see. Um, and he asks as well, um, Rockfish, what are people uh, on Earth doing now? That's very difficult to ask. Um, I'd have to expand or ask uh, the guys if anything is really known what's happening um, back on Earth in the Sol um, system. I don't think we really touch on it too much, um, but I'd have to double check. I'd have to double check. 
Um, Glorias uh, over on Twitch. Uh, could you stream with a wizard's hat, Gary, or is that not allowed? I'm sure at some point, if somebody wanted me to wear my wizard's hat, I would wear my wizard's hat and just to... to... I do have a wizard's hat. There we go. I have a wizard's hat. Oh, yes, just, just to prove I do have a wizard's hat. <laughs> Um, next up, Overland Gamer on Twitch. Uh, was there any thought about having ships without weapons? Collecting stuff would be challenging, like mining asteroids and such. It would make an interesting playing twist. I don't think we've ever had a thought about not having weapons because the whole premise of the game is as a looter shooter. Um, but we have heard people would like to just explore the expanse of space uh etc et and then obviously looking specifically at doing mining i don't think it'd be something that we'd do because it would change the scope of what we want to achieve with everspace 2 but again it's something that we hear it's something that we know people have mentioned will it be implemented probably not but again just so you know we do listen we do hear it do hear it um johan cross over on youtube how you doing johan um does hardcore mode have one life? In terms of, do you mean, I mean, I'm playing on hard mode in, in Everspace 2. Um, you don't have a, um, you always have continue, like a, a normal RPG style. Whereas if you looked at Everspace 1, then yes, you would have a, um, a life, but then because you're a clone, sorry, spoiler alert there, because uh, you're a clone, you would then start again. But no, we pretty much always have a game save kind of now. Um, whether you're on hard, whether you're on nightmare, whether you're on easy, it's all it's all the same. So uh, yeah, there, there you go. Hopefully, uh, Jao Panciotti over on YouTube. How are you? Good evening. Uh, the opportunities for piracy dry up as the game goes on. Is this intentional? Ooh, I will check on that for you, Jr. I'm not entirely sure, but I will make a note of that one. Um, I'm going to write it on a note, but now, just so uh, when we'll try and follow up on that. Uh, piracy jobs drying up. There we go. I've got that written down. I will check for you uh, and let, we will see. Uh, we will see if there's uh, anything that we can uh, follow up on. Um, I think in terms of piracy, I think, yeah, the, the jobs, you know, maybe to go collect something, etc. Writing a note on a note. Yes, I, I have notes. I have notes. <laughs> um, so, Super Scrapper over on Twitch. Uh, did you ever release the physical art book for General Say? When will it be available? Um, what I can say with that is, yes, we're going to have it for sale soon. Um, it's making its way still logistics. you got to love logistics. I used to work in logistics. Getting things from A to B can be quite complex. However... We're going to be getting them to retail outwards and you are going to be able to buy them. Uh, as soon as we have the information, um, then we'll be letting you know. We will definitely be letting you know where and when you can grab them. I know a lot of people did like the look of them from last week. I was showing it off quite a bit, not last week, the week before. Uh, so, yes, we'll definitely, definitely have it um, available soon. Trademark. <laughs> uh, Overland Game over on Twitter. Which, uh, is there any talks about novels or comics based on Everspace? Not that I'm aware of, but who knows? Who knows? Who knows? It'd be, it'd be cool though, wouldn't it? Well, nice to see a nice hand-drawn comic of uh, of Adam and, and all the other characters and uh, further adventures. That would be cool. I like the sound of that. I like the sound of that. Good, 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 good. Um, Speed Fragger over on twitch uh you guys think about adding medium ships that we can fly to have an experience and then fly with big ships like capital ships um our medium ships and then obviously the heavy ships such as the bomber and the gunship they are going to be the maximum size of the ship that we'll be able to fly within the game um we're not going to be kind of doing anything with big capital ships we obviously there's certain instances where you may have them around you uh, but if you're specifically meaning actually fighting with big ships um, within the gameplay element, that's not something that we're going to aim for. Um, we're certainly not going to be having player-controlled ships of capital size. We, we have mentioned this before. I know people have asked it. 
Um, and th the reason for that is that there's a lot of elements within the game that would not um, work with a, such a large ship. You know, I mean, you might scrape the sides going into one of these smaller areas with a heavy ship. You aren't going to squeeze a, a capital ship into there. It'd be like, you know, scrape the sides, scrape the sides, new paint work needed, that kind of thing. So uh, I know it's again, it falls into the, to the realms of we hear people, we know that people are, are looking at um in terms of um the big battles and everything but uh yeah we're not going to be doing that as a uh out and out option for um uh the player to play um right gundaville uh from netherlands i think over on twitch uh, any plans on controller mapping on console uh and they love everspace by the way thank you very much uh we do too you know who doesn't love everspace I mean, um it's something that we're looking into uh, currently um it's a technical disaster if you get it wrong should we put it this way um i know some people think it's a a very easy thing to do but one thing it is very easy to do is get it wrong and on console that can be absolutely drastically bad um there is possibilities of deadlocking a console if for some reason that a controller is unplugged at the absolute premium wrong time then there's no way that then they could plug that controller back in and get back into where it is and it is an absolute nightmare if we get it all wrong however we are, the technical guys on the team are looking into this the feasibility of it whilst it's not a promise it is absolutely something that we're looking at we've heard people talk about it we know again uh, what people are, uh, are suggesting what people would like and yeah uh we're gonna look into it again no promises fingers crossed we may get it to work who knows who knows but if we do and we have any information we will let you know but uh, again i just really want to reiterate uh, myself eric lee we read so much of what happens on the forums on the discord on the steam forums on the social media we hear what people uh, are asking and talking about we may not be able to answer you directly because it might be something like oh that's a good idea let's discuss it with the team and then um we shall see uh in the future but uh, as soon as we know we, we will let we'll let you know tell us more uh, this is one from pesky i'm a bit confused about this one pesky tell us more about a pimped out tetra miner not sure on this one Imped out Tetra Miner. Now I think we've had this reference before, and I'm trying to remember where. <laughs> I really can't remember, but uh, yeah, we'll have to look on that one. We'll have to look on that one. Uh, yeah, I'll get I'll get back to you on that one. Just timed it. Yeah, but we'll see. We'll see. There we go. Right. So uh, if you have any more questions, do fire them in. Um, it could be actually wizard jerry that would be uh blake Moore's robot yeah pimped out tetra miner yeah one of the ways that you could uh uh talk about it but yeah uh, more questions please dive them in uh i'm gonna carry on with some gameplay and then we'll ask us you can answer some more questions in about 20 minutes after a bit more gameplay i think a bit more gameplay right let's go find some more boxes we gotta find some boxes over here now we need to find a little glowy little things oh yeah for those of you i know some of you've worked it out on youtube uh yeah michael does keep an eye on you every five minutes or so now that's there. Oh, it's there. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Well, that's there. I hope they haven't sneakily put it near that yellow. No, that's good. Ooh. Do you know, I swear sometimes I suffer from colour blindness because I cannot see a yellow flashing dot.
if at any point you struggle to find something it's always a good handy hint to go away and then come back again <laughs> right let's just take these guys out of the equation that's locked on he'll be down quantum tether thank you very much boom there we go there we go oh it's not done right see i can see that one but i ooh, hang on there's two here that's cheating that's cheating Little container yeah 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 okay so we've got two, three out of four there's one over here and i just cannot see it oh i've just seen it now can you believe that you know what i said about you go away and come back and you see it from, from a different angle sneaky damn sneaky right so we found all the lost cargo it'll be one thing that we need to return to <clears throat> Right, so that takes us back to Nefties. <clears throat> now, what we do need to do is, because we leveled up, why aren't we using the new stuff? All the new gear that we've got. Nice new shield. Uh, we're going to use the blaster instead of the beam lasers. The beam lasers handy, so is the thermo gun. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the flak on. Yeah, 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 I think we'll go with that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The auto cannon's nice, though. Ooh. I do like the beam just because of the direct damage. We've got the flak. Just got to be very careful with the flak. Uh, I'm sure some of you have come across this from time to time. Uh, anything else that we want to swatch out? No. We've got the mining equipment. We've got to remember not to sell the liquor. Don't sell the liquor. That'd be bad. That'd be bad. Um... Now let's have a look at the map. Now, you see that this place where the actual um, mission is, the job, is actually now better for us. So we'll go to there. So keep those questions coming in. Uh, I'll gladly answer them in a little while. I mean, one question I'm going to ask you, boys and girls, in, in the audience is if you, through all your playthroughs, whether you play on Steam, wherever, um, obviously you have a kind of per play through total. Uh, how many hours do you think you've actually spent playing Everspace 2? Do you actually know? Have you any idea how much of your time you spent on it? I mean, every second that you spend within the game, we're very thankful of. But yeah, it'd be very interesting to know how long you've actually spent. Let's go and this in. Super Scrapper says 90 according to Steam. <laughs> Kizor's like uh, an amount. Uh, Pesky says 300. Bearded Frog over a thousand hours. Wow. Yeah, Panciotti says 1,365. Uh, Crow Forever over on Twitch 200 plus. Um, Wizard Jerry. Well, this is hardly surprising. Wizard Jerry has approximately 2,783 hours. <laughs> <laughs> Golden Holland 450 that's a very respectable Perico 140 work life is kind of hard yeah it, it does and I think this is one of the things that we like about the game is that you can put it down pick it up put it down pick it up we don't want to think oh you've got to play every day to achieve this etc um Kizor uh, oh sorry Wizard Jerry thinks Kizor's got about 4,444 wow Kizor that's some good amount there good amount uh, Super Scrapper thinks probably 30 to 40 we're playing on PC Game Pass. Um, Overline Game, 14 hours according to Steam, although I play mostly on PlayStation 5. That's cool, cool. You know, it's, it's just a rough ballpark figure. I, li I like these figures. I like these. Uh, Bearded Frog says, oh, you're going actual specific now. 1,567.9. <laughs> love it, love it. I mean, they're amazing. Thank you very much, uh, boys and girls, for, uh, for spending so much of your 
valuable time in the game and uh, uh, I hope um, you're getting some some good uh, entertainment from that time. It's it's very, very nice to hear. Very, very nice to hear. Let's do a restock. Let's have a look at the shop. Oh, the mission. Uh, that today. Okay, so we've done that, haven't we? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, anything in the job? No. Oh, so you, they're saying, no, we don't want to give you any more jobs. Right, I'm going to sell the ramen because, you know, who wants ramen? Uh, clothing we can sell as well. Uh, do I want the blaster? The blaster is good. I don't want the calibrate. I'm going to dismantle all that. The th that Thilmer gun is going to go. We're going to get rid of that. Auto cannon. I do love that auto cannon. It does some serious DPS. Don't know about the blaster. Don't need the shield, so we're just going to sell that. Uh, mining equipment. Ooh, we'll sell that. Yeah, we'll sell that. Let's put that there. I'm going to keep that so off we go off we go right let's just see where we're going to head next on there um uh, <sighs> this was the one that we need to we've lost some oh okay it's here it's in and around here isn't it okay let's have a look Oh, interesting. Apparently, we're getting more questions from Twitch than YouTube this week. I know we did say last week or, or the last time that, you know, people were a little bit lacking. A little bit lacking. You need to, you know, up your game a little bit. <laughs> and they're bringing it. Uh, Seven Nindo uh, says around 168 hours for the first game and still play it occasionally. Cool. Nice. Liking it. <clears throat> we're loving it. We're loving it. Right. Let's head there. Quite a distance away. Mm. No, I'm not going to do the distress call. We know what happens in distress calls. I normally end up being the one in distress. <laughs> Which is not a good idea. Oh, it's the invisible bottle. <laughs> I forgot about my invisible bottle. You all love a bit of green screen technology, don't you? The bottle is actually green, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm not drinking anything actually. Yeah, it's, it's it's just the lid. It's just the lid. Even the lid is partially green as well. Yeah. <laughs> I actually do have a green T-shirt that I could wear, so I'm just a head. <laughs> just a head floating around. That freaks people out. Right, okay. Lost cargo is in this area. Uh, yeah, the bottle of A. <laughs> right, uh, anybody coming? You're coming out. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's just gonna be so careful with you. There you go. You can have that off your face. There we go. There we go. Looks like I've got company. It is. Got company. Oh, hello. Ooh. Nobody knows. Ooh, Bloodstar Rovers here. Let's get rid of you, the drum. Ooh, there we go. Ow! Very nice, was it? Thank you. Right, can we, can we just, you know, play nicely now and let, let me get some stuff like credits and things, you know? They're not playing fair, are they? They're not playing fair tonight. <sighs> yes, the mindless killing of drones it is violent. I mean, to be fair, they are trying to shoot me first, so, you know, I'm just. I just you know, I've got to protect myself. Right, so, I think I can find this one. <laughs> There we go. That's one. Okay. Oh, hello. That hasn't disappeared yet. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. There it is. Oof. What's that? Oh, blueprint. Don't forget the blueprints. There we go. Oh, we unlocked the thermal gun. Nice. Nice. 
but yeah, we'll give it a, uh, probably about another five or ten minutes and we'll go through the next batch of questions. Uh, we've had uh, quite a few tonight. Thank you very much for throwing them in. It's always good. Uh, I'll try and answer what I can, where I can, and all that kind of stuff, which is good. Because you guys and girls deserve uh, deserve answers where we can. There we go. Ooh, vipers. Do I not like you? There we go. Ah, give me that shit colour. Mind the corrosion. Asparagus. Right. Uh, <coughs> energy core. It's not as good as what we want. There we go. We'll have that one. So this is the third four. Missing there. Scrap metal. Ooh, hello. Another one sneakily hiding around behind there. There we go. Bonza, mate. Yeah, gotta love it. Right, we, I think we should finish that. We've got to bring the containers back, but we'll have a little look. We'll deal with these, hopefully, first. I do not want to deal with a Weber drum. Thank you, because that's not good. You can go away. Thank you. Chuck those ones down. There. See? After all the deaths that I was actually you know, having the last time, it, it's almost like I got past that first little difficult part of me flying. Right, let's get the shipwreck over here. Yeah. Right, let's take out this last lot just in case we can find anything of value there. Anything straight to the kisser. Ooh. There we go. Oh. oh, hello, Mr. Madcap. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just getting away from you because I know what generally happens with you. Oop. You and you. God awful minds that he threw in my general direction. Cool, cool. I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's, uh, let's boogie. Right, so uh, let's have a little look see then. Where else have we got to go? That's a sea to orbit, isn't it? So we'll head there. That's there, not there. Let's go do this one. <clears throat> oh, yeah, the Madcap Scrapper. Yeah, they absolutely just want to give me a hug. <laughs> we've still got some areas down here obviously in the hinterlands uh which is still obviously higher than my level so you do have to still be careful so uh, let's transverse across to Cito. <clears throat> In our next segment of uh, of questions, I know we've probably got something to do with Unreal Engine 5. We'll just go through again and reiterate what we kind of covered uh, the last stream, which is two weeks ago, because obviously since then there's been new people that have been uh, interested and in trying to, you know, um, find out answers to various things. And uh, we'll just reiterate uh, some of the points uh, about the whole reasons behind our migration to Unreal Engine 5. There we go. Let's get docked. Let's get these things stuck. Hello. Anyone home? Huh? Who are you? Who are you, indeed? Uh, just passing through, hoping for some quick repairs yeah, and maybe some through. provisions. You don't happen to be from the Union system, do you? No, I'm. Uh, I'm from here. But you must know someone in Union, right? You are a freelancer. You have a network. Calm down, okay? Just tell me what's wrong. Tell me what's wrong, I've been indeed. To contact our sister station at the Goblet. Something's mm -hmm. off. I can't reach them. I'm actually heading that way. You want me to check on them? Yes, yes, definitely. They were on to some very important research. Vital in so many ways you wouldn't understand. Apparently I wouldn't understand. Coordinates. Let me know once you get there. All right. But first, let me take care of my ship. Indeed. Well, of course. Let me take care of my ship. So that's the new Call side NFT mission. Station. This is Nefty's station. Now finish the job. Oh. Affirming your signature. More rewards. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, we'll do a quick restock. 
Let's go to the shop. Uh, that's no better, so we'll sell that. No better. Thermo gun. No, oh, we got that. Rockets. Yeah. Five. Bombing missiles. I'm going to just uh, dismantle them just for the time being. Uh, liquor, I'm going to sell because he's just taken the five, so you might as well have all the rest of it. Um, energy core, we'll just sell as well. So we're just kind of keeping a... We're a little bit limited. A little bit limited on that, but uh, we have unlocked the thermal gun, which is nice. There we go. And then obviously... And we've got to remember about the renown, <coughs> uh, the rookie. I'm going to claim this just because it then, you know, gives us a Jaeger and some nanobots and credits and a decal. Again, if you're very close to leveling, I just keep hold of that just for a little bit longer uh, and then claim it at the correct level. So there you go. We get those things. If we look at our inventory, you'll see it's a level six, just like our level. It's very, very nice. Um, so... That's a blueprint. That's a blueprint. 3118. Isn't it ironic? <sighs> that was a song. Um, they're exactly the same. <laughs> oh, dear. There's an irony. There's an irony. So what we're actually going to do is I'm actually going to dismantle that. And then I'm going to dismantle that as well. Because that will give us, you know, a little bit more pulse lasers. you got to love them. Anyway. Right. While we're just here, uh, and uh, actually, let's just go back to the uh, to the hangar just while we're looking. You can do that, by the way. You can rotate your ship. Uh, just left mouse so you can blast your eyeballs into into there if you want to. So while we're doing that, we'll just have a quick look through some of the questions that have come in. Um, so super, uh, sorry, not super. I nearly said Super Nintendo. Seven Nindo over on Twitch uh, as a question. Uh, what is the main objective of the studio at the moment and what is the long-term vision? Um, okay, so currently our main focus is the upgrade to Unreal Engine 5 and then our spring update, which is going to be called Incursions. Okay, further down the line, uh, there's going to be uh, an expansion. Um, no ETA on that or anything like that. Beyond that, we're focusing very very much on what's happening in the very short term beyond that we, we 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 have no idea we can't say anything because nothing's been put in place so unreal engine 5 is the the main focus the work on that is very very heavy um and then obviously as i've said we're going to be working towards incursions which is our spring update uh which is going to bring lots of new things to the game i like to i like to put it under the word stuff because that's all encompassing all encompassing so um we'll release more details as we're going closer you may see things within this because this uh we are running on unreal engine 5 in this dev build okay what is our retail for you boys and girls and everything that is just unreal engine 4 but i'm running on unreal engine 5 i've seen no performance difference for me that is one of the things that a lot of people uh, and just to switch over to unreal engine 5 is a, is a little bit of a a focus at the moment it is something that a lot of people have asked about because of unreal engine 5 etc performance this and the other the team is very very focused on ensuring that the game performs like it does on unreal engine 4 um how we achieve that that is you know down to the wizards uh back in hamburg uh they're the technical guys they're going to work things out but it is a name of the team and i just want to reiterate that we don't want the game to perform worse we don't you know we we would love it if it you know massively improved performance across the board for everybody uh but you know we have to be realistic and we you know we just don't want the game to perform any worse but again it's something that we'll talk about much closer to launch we're very knee deep in uh in the development on the new engine okay now People have asked, uh, and they're, they're always going to ask, why are you doing it? Why uh, Michael from Rockfish has arrived? Hello, the boss is here. Hello, sir, uh, over on Twitch. Um, the, the work that we need to achieve uh, with Unreal Engine 5 is many faceted. Many, many facets to it. Uh, but r realistically, the, the aim is maintainability for the project. 
Unreal Engine 4 is a fantastic engine. Uh, the, like I say, the wizards over in, in Hamburg can do technical wonders with the engine. However, it is not a supported engine anymore. Um, Epic have moved on to Unreal Engine 5. That is their focus. And with the distance between um, our Armed and Dangerous update and the Incursions update, there is a window of opportunity for the team to do the transition from Unreal Engine 4 to 5. It takes a while to do, but it will allow us to have a project that we can get support on. We can learn new tools within that project because of the engine being current. And it also means that we can maintain that project for longer than rather spending time trying to write any kind of custom code or trying to work out, uh, work out ways around issues, which we wouldn't have with Unreal Engine 4. Now, there are certain features within Unreal Engine 5 that are very appealing. I know people talk about Nanite and Lumen and all these kind of things. The team will look at those. There's no promises of any implementation because we want to just basically bring the game from Unreal Engine 4 to Unreal Engine 5. So we have longevity, not only for the game itself, but also for the team. The team have to learn the intricacies of Unreal Engine 5. I know it's, it, it it seems like, oh, you just plunk that code into there and it'll work. I think we've highlighted in the in the brilliant blog that Lee wrote uh, is over on Steam, and please, I do implore everybody to read it. The oddities that we come across with just literally changing engine is actually baffling. So baffling. Text is in the wrong place. We have the Tron-like effect that was happening. We have weapons that don't align correctly. And you think, how does that happen? And these things do happen. And we're very transparent about it. And I think um, Lee highlighted it quite magnificently, the, the issues that are there. And you don't always see behind that curtain because devs don't want to show you, hey, this is wrong. We know it's wrong, but we want to make it right. And that is the aim of the game. Longevity, maintainability, and to basically have a good game on a supported engine. And that is the aim for Unreal Engine 5. Now, that work is going to take quite a while. Um, it's it started in earnest. It's plowing on now. Um, we're, we're testing. The team are testing themselves. We've got a, a group of fantastic testers that are finding problems every day. And that's good. I know it might sound bad, but it's good because it means we can fix it. And that's, what again, what we want to do. We want to fix this game in the new engine. So whilst it's, again, going to seem like we're not doing a great thing, anything on the surface and, and lee did mention it earlier we are beavering away in the background not only on the community side on the marketing side but on the dev team side the technical guys who are doing the the wonders so yes just give us time we're working through the issues we're gonna get there when we get closer to launch, then we'll have a lot more details to share with you. But we are working very diligently to give you the best we can. And you know, I think we've proven this in the past, that we'll try and give you the best possible experience of our game, Everspace 2, which we're very proud of. We don't want to throw it on the scrap heap. We don't want to just say, oh, well, we've sold it. Or we want to improve it. We've got a, a brilliant uh, update coming in the spring and then an expansion further out. So... Hopefully you will see the rewards from that hard work from within the team. Uh, that kind of answers, hopefully, Speed Fragger, your question, which was a little bit later on <laughs> because we kind of diversed off there a little bit. Uh, Flory asks over on Twitch, uh, will we ever be able to make ramen, ice cream, liquor, earth wine party with the whole crew? That would be nice. I mean, we have, you know, Alec loves his ice cream machine, you know, in home base. Why not, you know, have a ramen machine? I mean, it's a microwave, isn't it? Let's be fair. But, you know, a ramen machine. Ah, uh, let's have a whole party. Whole party. Uh, Perry Cole over on YouTube. Uh, our suggestions of the Steam discussions take into consideration for future updates. I like to write suggestions for several things from time to time and have one in the works. Perry Cole, I can answer that very simply. Yes. Now, we, just to reiterate, we did say this earlier as well. We read every comment. At my time is spent specifically on our Discord, Steam forums, socials, Reddit, wherever 
our community is, I am there and I will read those points. Now, certain discussions that happen on there may contain brilliant suggestions and we will put them across to the team. We might not always be able to respond, but not only will I read them, Michael will read them, Lee will read them, Hans Christian will read them, the team will read them and it may spark some interest and we will ask the question if we think it's a good idea we can the team could discuss it they can talk about it and see if it can be fitted within the scope of the game that's not to say everything everybody suggests can go into the game because a it's just not feasible and it'd be outside the realms of possibility but please do note that we do read your suggestions your comments your feedback whatever it is because we suck that in and then we absorb it and then we work around that is it feasible is it possible so yes, definitely, definitely. Uh, seven Nindo, uh, Nindo again. I want to call you Nintendo. Uh, over on Twitch, how large is the design team? Um, as a, overall, the, the the team, I think we're about twenty. I want to say about twenty six, twenty seven people overall. I mean that is the whole scope of the company, and that is. Um, um, something that's going to tie in with a question from overland gamer as well uh, is your design team all in-house or are they remote folks as well um we have people dotted around the main team is based in and around hamburg uh in germany uh obviously I'm, i myself i'm based in the uk i work on the uh, uh the community marketing side um uh, lee uh he's all the way from canada he's a canuck over there and then obviously eric you know the lovable eric uh, who's sadly not with us because he's a bit poorly he is uh, he's based in uh, the USA, and then we have Jeremy as well. Uh, he's in um, Japan, so we cover a plethora of time zones and, and areas. So uh, yeah, but the majority of the team uh, in and around Germany, Hamburg region. So yes, hopefully that kind of thirty-two. Ah yes, see the numbers they just keep growing. They just keep growing. <laughs> um. Uh, JL Panciotti over on YouTube, is there a test for Hive to make a comment like Goodshot or does he just throw out random comments? I actually don't know, uh, JL Panciotti. I would presume that there is a pool of responses that he may say at a certain point. So obviously if you kill an enemy, then he would say a specific set of responses at that point if he felt like it. So uh, yeah, uh, I think that would be how it would work. Um, and then lastly, uh, Overland, again, on, on Twitch. Uh, what project management tool do you use? Uh, Jira, Trello, sticky notes, or on a whiteboard? <laughs> well, I, I was, to, be, to be fair, w w when we visited the, the offices uh, last year, I didn't see many whiteboards, uh, but there's a lot of communication that we, we use. We use Trello, uh, Slack, things like that, um, to, to communicate. And then obviously, you know, writing emails, talking to people via... Uh, voice comms uh the team are always in touch every every day um there's meetings meetings and, and more meetings um you know just to get everybody focused in the same direction so yeah there's uh we, we use the tools that we're kind of used to but yeah generally slack trello um it, it is our main go-to things uh super scrap uh, just one more oh, oh, oh how do we get cherry just don't like hive <laughs> i have no idea on that one super scrapper uh yeah You'd have to try and work on that one. Uh, you, I think they've got to talk in a British accent, whatever they do. So that's very good. So, uh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, keep those questions coming. Uh, I'm going to dive in with more gameplay. God, the time is fizzing away with us tonight. Fizzing away. Thank you very much for all the questions. It's, uh, it's really, really nice of you to throw them in. Uh, like I said, we can answer as many as we can. So if you have more, uh, please, please dive in. And let's just see. So we've done that there. Lost Cargo is a ooh, twin station. Is a 10. I'm not going to be doing that one anytime soon. Um, not on that one. Seto mm, Ghost Hunt. Maybe I'll probably wait until I'm actually level 7 to get that one. So we'll go find some... Take those back. Item Retrieval is the next one I think we need to go find. Uh, yes, which is there. There we go. Right. Let's get out of here. Oh, hello. Yeah, don't try and line yourself up with that planet. It will not end well. <clears throat> uh, Bearded Frog, thank you very much for that comment. Uh, just, I'll, I'll read it out. Hopefully Rockfish grows and grows, though. The more Rockfish, the better the gaming world will be. And uh, thank you very much for that. That is very, very nice to hear. 
um yeah we want we want to make the the best games we possibly can and you know we uh, we can achieve uh, everything that we hope for <clears throat> uh seven indo thank you villain says i was driving but listening excellent to hear drive carefully drive carefully we've arrived <clears throat> one of the targets must have what we're looking for okay drones we gotta love drones that Hang is on. just what I need. Well, you is it you? No, it's you over here. Uh, ooh, ooh, hello. It is you. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. He went boom, boom. Uh, who put that asteroid there? That wasn't very nice. <laughs> right, let's just fire those at the drones. Hey, there we that go. That drone had it. Hey, okay, come on. Come here. Yep, yep. Thank you. Steel container. Right. Hey, what we're going to just do? We're going to take out these in and around here, just in case. Oof. This is why I love flak. Few shots in the right direction. Whole world of pain for whatever's in the way. Let's make sure it's not you. That can be painful. I'm getting better at this every time. Apparently, I'm getting better at this every time. Said Adam. I'm starting to believe him. Because luckily, I haven't died that often. <laughs> it's just quite unusual. Well, prospectors. Mm, there we go. Oh, anything else around here? Some scrap metal over there. Okay, there we go. Oop, there we go. Right, let's head out of here then. So we need to go back to Nefties with this contents. To be, to be fair there, Frog, I think I probably have put the kiss of death on myself there. <laughs> Every time I say that, it's going well. <clears throat> yeah, I think you, you, you could be very right there, Mr. Frog. You're very right there. Right, there we go. Into Nefties. Let's earn some more renown, more credits, and everything else. So we're going to bring the container and the other four containers. There we go. Whee! It's all done. Thank you. Thank you. It's all done. <laughs> Apparently. Thank you. <laughs> That's what you get found in both. <clears throat> uh, but streaming on in Facebook, seeing in Discord that there's questions there. Okay. Uh, yes, it should be live. On, it was showing us live. Uh, so, yeah, if we have any questions, then uh, we can try and grab them from there as well. Let's just repair that. So, let's have a little look. See anything in the shop? What's he got for us? <clears throat> Ooh, hello. That's only a five, though. I think that would probably go out uh, very, very quickly, I think. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Crystal diodes. Tractor beam. That's quite... Ooh, that's tempting, actually, because I need to increase the, uh, the tractor beam. So I'm just going to buy seven of those. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we're just going to do that, and we're going to look at the perks uh on there so we've got wiring kit yeah okay we've already got some of that flawless crystal that's expensive 80 and crystal <clears throat> mm. anything on there upgrades plasma 
Okay, let's... Oh, we need more plaza. That'd be quite handy. <laughs> a bit more plaza. Uh, ship dealer, what's he got? <clears throat> okay, he's got a Dominator 2 uh, gunship. Oh, that's, that's nice and shiny, isn't it? That's a, that's a shiny one. Ah, <clears throat> mm -hmm. oh, Ian Moore over on uh, Facebook. How are you doing, Ian? Good to see you. Uh, where your base is about zero degrees in the UK at the moment. Yes, it's been very, very cold here today. Although I will say it's not half as cold as what uh, <laughs> Lee's having to deal with in, in Canada and Eric in uh, in the US because that's been very damn cold. So, uh, yeah, I, I, will, I will take zero degrees. <laughs> but yeah, I'm a little bit further north. Uh, it's been a little bit, um, uh, a little bit uh, chilly today, but uh, it's always good. It's always good. Uh, take care, Pesky. Uh, see you again very soon, very soon. Uh, right, so let's have a look at any more jobs. Have we got some jobs? Mm -hmm. Now, here's the thing. Am I in good enough shape to take on Palemon's Wound? Because that is a nightmare of a, a, a mission, if you get it wrong. And it could be a whole world of hurt for me. I think we might try. I think we might try. And then um, die trying. <laughs> yeah, we had, uh, Wizard Jerry, yeah, we had a bit of snow uh, where I live uh, two days ago. Yeah, two days ago, yeah. Only a little bit. We, we were lucky. We're not, we're not we're, you know, what we're like here in the UK. We, we get wet weather, you know. We get, we get that much snow and everything stops. No. I digress, I digress. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, tractor beam would be good. Yeah, because they're multi-items, so we need to kind of work on that. Flawless Athium and Lathium Crystal. It's uh I don't think he's got anything in there. Uh, what has he got? He's got copper. He's got some Athium, not a lot. I don't really want to spend that amount on it. We'll have to see. <laughs> there there we go. There we go. Uh so uh, <laughs> Lee just said um it's only 90, minus 19 degrees Celtigrade today. Uh, it's a bit better than the minus 39 degrees that they had a few weeks ago. <laughs> that's bonkers. That's bonkers. But uh, yeah, I'm glad you all are, are fairly insulated, uh, etc. Right, I'll tell you what, we'll we will go and try. We'll head to Palemon's Wound and let's see what happens. Not sure on this is going to come out, but you know. Say la vie. Let's dive. <clears throat> See, after we've done this mission, um, we'll probably transition. Say, do this mission. Try to do this mission. We'll transition over to the screenshots. We've got some great ones this week. Uh, the uh, the guys over on Steam have been absolutely cranking it out. We've got some good ones from Discord as well as we always do, but. Uh, I do keep an eye on uh, on our screenshot submissions over on the uh, on the Steam forums as well. Uh, some great ones there. So uh, if you ever felt like putting some in, you've got various places screenshots that you capture uh, within the game. If you've got Steam running, you can post onto Steam directly, or if you want to, uh, plug them into our screenshot uh, forum on our Discord. Very very nice of you to do either. Right. Oof, Palemon's Wound. I'm not confident on this one. I am confident. I know when I've played it through before, it can be a little bit problematic. <clears throat> I just love the discussions now around how cold it is and how people can wear like t-shirts and shorts and stuff like that. I know in, in one of my old jobs, I used to wear t-shirts and shorts quite regular, but I think minus figures was a pushing it a little bit for the for the shorts for me. Right, here we go to Palemon's Wound, one of the best looking places in the game. Well, Shadow of a Doubt, our team knocked out of the park here. Absolutely knocked out of the park. Right. right. I'll try to stay close. 
You do your magic. I'm gonna do my magic. No going back now. Oh, oh. Right, so we've got to destroy the communications tower, fuel tanks, coils, missile silos, bomb throwers, etc., etc. <clears throat> Right, there's an outlaw drone. Oh, hello. Thank you very much, Mr. Outlaw Destroyer. <laughs> oh, yeah, people do like the uh, the, the sound uh, track from around here. I can't believe that they put the destroyer right outside. Yeah, yeah. That's just not nice, is it? Right, I'm just going to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, here we go. Set that down so I can take him down a lot easier. I'm just going to be a bit canny and just keep away from. Uh... There we go. Oh, it's a blueprint. Nice. Yep. So he's going to be. Right, I want to try and get him away from the base as much as possible. The reason being. Oh, blueprint. Nice. Blueprint. Yeah, blueprint. Ow. Very nice. Now, the other problem is he's over there. Right, I'm going to try and take this out. Yeah, it is, isn't it? And we're going to have missiles coming in, aren't we? There we go. Right, that's him done. Unfortunately, we'll get attacked from over there as well. Right, give me the stuff. Give me the stuff. I want the ship colour. I oh, want ship colours, don't we? Right. Good. I want to see more of that. Of what exactly? Of us being still alive. There we go. That's that yeah, one I'm done. Right. Man, you really got it in you. Well, I'm Come on, give me that bomb. Give me that bomb. Prima ballerina, but I guess in your case that's the same thing. There we go. Don't let your guard down just yet. Don't let your guard down just yet. Alright, okay. Him down. Reddits. Another madcap there. <clears throat> We're going to be coming in. Stuff. All this cost was a squeeze of the trigger. There we go. We're going. We're going. We're going. <laughs> I saw that frog. I saw that frog. I can't disagree with you. To be fair, there's all this funky loot. Right, opening the court. Come on. Let's smash that thing. There we go. Boom. Boom. Give me the stuff. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. See that marker? That's the ghost fleet right there. Yeah, it's on the other side of the planet. Up for grabs for the whole system to see too. Indeed. Better hurry before the scavengers start flocking. Absolutely. Let's head into here because there's some stuff. Ooh, some plating. We've got a plating upgrade. Ooh, that's nice. There we go. I'm going to dismantle that. Yes, give us some stuff. Dismantle that as well. We've got some level 7 stuff again, which should be very handy because, you know, as we come into uh, the next level, we we'll make a hash. Good difference. More mine equipment. I know what's medium, small. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to swap that out. They could come in handy. There we go, you see. <clears throat> Amazingly, again, I've not died yet. 
It is always good. It's always a bit worrying when people are like, I just want to see if Gary dies, you know. <laughs> That's what we're bothered about. Collecting all the stuff. When you've got that moment, do you go pick up the stuff? There's some below us as well. Oh, hello. <laughs> Let's not hit these tanks, because that would not be a good idea. Credits. That's good, that's good. Oh, titanium. Right. Get this. It's free, so I'm taking it. It's pure as well. Okay. <clears throat> Amazing, we didn't have to deal with that base. Quite nice. Quite nice. Right, so go to the ghost fleet. So let's uh, take our way there. Heck is all, yes, definitely. Plus firepower, instant equip. Yeah, certainly makes... Uh, got a new challenge as well for the advanced combat. Destroy a missile with a flat cannon. Possibly doing that, yeah. Destroy an enemy affected by three or more bolts. This could be good. Five enemies in five seconds. Yeah, and destroy two. That one always takes a while for me because I don't use mines that often. Although I do have some uh, actually on me now, but yeah. Right, let's go to the ghost fleet. We'll try and get this done. And then we'll switch a room. Uh, if you've got more questions coming, please fire them into the chat and then we shall have something to, to discuss as we go through uh, uh, our screenshots. And I'll keep watch for newcomers. Yeah. The longer we linger, the more trouble will come our way. Yeah. Mm, something about this place seems oddly familiar. Indeed. Hello. I've been detected. Yeah, 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 destroyed a missile with a black cannon. <laughs> oh, oh, straight through the corrosion. Good idea. Alright, let's have a little look see then. So search the wreck for AI units. Hack the terminal. This one's on the fritz. It's on the fritz. Always be careful. Boom. That's why a flat cannon is a lot easier. Okay. So there's an AI unit there, but he's hidden behind there. So that means we need to go get that energy spear from this dispenser. Right, let's see if we can get there. Hello. Okay. Right, let's uh It was going so well there, wasn't it? Six point there we go. No luck. No luck. Looks like the hive self destructed along with their vessels. Bulletproof container yeah, could be good. Stingy when it came to their hive tech. Oof. Same for him. They didn't even give one to me. Something about this place feels horribly wrong. You really shouldn't be here. Mm. You really shouldn't be here. I think you're right there, Adam. I think you're desperately right. Yeah, where do they all keep coming from? Hello. <laughs> he 
He got me then. It was that pesky drone, that pesky drone. Oh, so close, so close, so close. Right. It, that gives me a perfect opportunity right there. So we know where we've got up to for the next time. Of transitioning over to some more questions and also our screenshots. I'm sure if you want to see more of me dying, then you'll have to come back to another stream where I'm sure that I'll be dying a little bit more. Uh, just give me a moment and we will transition over the back of the division. Right. Okay, let's bring that up. Bring my details up. Okie dokie. Right. There we go. Let's have some music. Maestro. There we go. There is some music. There we go. It's a little bit on the quiet side. Um, right, so here we are in our nice little segment that we will show off some of the community's wonderful artwork, which you can see here, which they've captured in our game. And uh, this one, first off, is from Steam, from a new user who uh, has been producing some very, very good uh, good pictures, and I think this was one of the best ones from this uh, this last week, and it's called uh, Zig. And it uh, definitely gives you the uh, the impression of an eye. Um, that they're just going through, or the eye is watching them. And I think Eric, if I remember correctly, doesn't particularly like the eyeball kind of shape, so he'd probably freak out a little bit, but, you know. But uh, there we go. Very nice shot from Zig. Uh, having a little look at the questions. Uh, Fenja Baumgart, how are you doing over on Facebook? Um, are you still looking for UI UX artists? Uh, we're hiring for multiple roles. So if you would like to uh, go across to rockfishgames.com um, and have a look under the jobs, then there's a variety of there um, that we are available. Um, I don't know if everything is listed there. If it's not, uh, then please do contact us um, directly. We could always have a look. Um, but certainly, um, yeah, we've got jobs listed over there that you may want to have a look at. So we, uh, we're hiring for multiple roles still across the board. Uh, Bearded Frog has asked, uh, are you sure you didn't lower the difficulty on the stealth league? Feels weird having your death count and get dusty. Actually, no, I did actually check it. <laughs> I thought... Mm, yeah, I'm definitely still playing on the hard. We're definitely still playing on the hard, but yeah, it's uh, I, to be fair, I think uh, I think I just get good uh, during the week. I've been doing a quite a bit of flying in uh, in the game this week, so uh, yeah, maybe I've just you know, it's come back to me. It's come back to me. <laughs> we'll go with that anyway. Uh, right, next up, we have a picture from Steam again. Uh, another new uh, player who's uh, this one just. You can see there's all sorts going on. Explosions, corrosions, and all manner of um, things happening at the same time. And uh, this one's from Mbit19XX. You'll love the names over on Steam. But uh, yeah, a, a very nice screenshot, which uh, does give uh, some wonderful um, uh, exposure to all the elements of um, creativity within the team. You know, the explosion and the corrosion effects. It does take quite a bit of time to uh, to achieve these uh, these elements and uh, yeah i think it's very very good what the team have done um in terms of art when you can produce screenshots you know f10 boom there you go uh, you literally have a work of art and i think it's uh, very very nice that uh, we get to see them now as well uh, that you can show them off so uh, yeah very very cool um let's have a little look see so um magic zipper on twitch uh, but wait to play the game until everything is in the game. What's left to be released? Okay. Um, we have a, a new update coming in the spring. The ETA on that is to be determined, but it's sometime in European spring. I know some people say, well, which spring is it? Uh, but yeah, we're in the European spring. So uh, sometime in the coming months, uh, we've got a, the update called Incursions. And then further out, uh, ETA to be determined. Uh, we've got a full paid premium expansion which will be available uh, down the line. So uh, it's still a little while yet uh, for, for all that content to come. Um, but um, there's one thing that I will say to people, because it is something that has been asked with regards to Unreal Engine 5 as well, is about game saves. 
when we do an update whether it's uh like an incursions or as we previously did uh armed and dangerous your saves will continue you won't need to restart if you wish to restart then you can that's entirely up to you uh and play through with the content as is um but you will be able to continue your game saves we're not getting rid of those yes definitely with northern hemisphere centric uh uh, said Lee, uh, definitely, uh, with obviously, you know, being that side of the equator, most of us anyway. Um, Lord M over on YouTube is asking, uh, run 60 frames per second on the Series X. Yes, that is uh, what we aimed for. So, uh, yeah, definitely that is where we should be hitting most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> Bearded frog on the International Space Station again. Love it, love it. Right, <laughs> next screenshot. <laughs> Excuse me, I'll do a quick drink. Uh, this one is from our Discord. Uh, this was from uh, a regular poster, uh, Adam GD. Uh, he does some great screenshots. Now, this one I thought was quite funny because obviously he's in the Drake system. He's just about to get uh, an absolute face full of some ice damage to his ship there. Um, <clears throat> and then when I actually first saw it, all I could see was it was Finding Nemo because that ship just looks like Nemo to me and uh, it actually looks like he's actually spitting water out so you know my brain works in weird ways but yeah I just it just looks like uh, um <laughs> yeah bearded frog fishing mini game confirmed absolutely <laughs> uh, but yeah that's definitely finding Nemo uh <clears throat> on there on there so um absolutely love it love it great great shot there from Adam GD over on our discord and uh, next up this one is again from Discord. This was from Galactic Purr. Um, now that, I think, is a very wide-angled shot of uh, their ship just about to be pulled into uh, the the rift um, <clears throat> to enjoy whatever they are going to come up against in there. And I think it's a, a very nice shot, um, very dramatic, very powerful. And again, I think the art team did wonders uh, within the game. So uh, well played to them, well played to them. Uh, very, very much. Yeah, Bearded Frog, very, very true. Eye of Sauron, yeah. <coughs> um, <coughs> excuse me. Definitely a, a, a favourite of mine is uh, Lord of the Rings. It might have something to do with the, uh, with the wizard hat, which people were talking about, yeah. <coughs> so, yes, that's uh, definitely something that we um, we appreciate there. So, uh, very, very nice. <coughs> uh, very relaxing image, this one. Uh, I do like this one, too. Uh, let me just brighten that up a little bit. <clears throat> there we go. Um, <clears throat> sorry, this one is from Jack the Ripper uh, over on Steam. Uh, very nicely um, calming vista. <clears throat> very, very lovely um, at region of space. I, I think how, how people capture these images and just think uh, the, the game itself is a, is a wallpaper creator. Uh, again, uh, I'm taking my hat off to the... For the art team uh specifically with uh, the worlds that they create the environments that we can play in uh lovely i absolutely think they're fantastic and uh it is um very very nice to see when people do uh <laughs> vista was indeed an operating system and i think this is better than the vista operating system i think we all know uh, uh how how badly um vista was i think everybody used vista at some point <laughs> uh, next up is uh, again similarly uh this one's from tech stepman over on steam uh, a gunship again <clears throat> going into a rift instead of focusing on the eye of the rift uh and being pulled in then this one is um <clears throat> from the eyes point of view as it starts to drag in that gunship and i think it's very very nice uh to see it from that perspective of how we, it's latching on and then dragging uh, the gunship in um, very nice. I like the colours of that ship as well. The nice with the blues, the red, and the looks like possibly cement colour for the uh, for the body of the gunship. Uh, I do like gunships, but anyway, uh, definitely uh, one of my favourites. Uh, <clears throat> looking at the questions, we've got one from Flory uh, over on Twitch. Um, can how can the hive self destruct if we later get to know there is no self destruct? That's a very good law question. And I wouldn't want to speculate how that happens. Now, it could, but well, I, I will do. <laughs> uh, it could be that 
um, in a later time that the self-destruct was disabled, um, whereas when the war was going on, the self-destruct was kept in place. So that could be an answer. I would have to check on that, Flory. Again, I will, I will write it down to check on the law of um, why self-destruct are in. And then take it away. But well, that is possibly something that they poss that they didn't want to have left behind during the, the war. So that could be uh, a possibility, but I will find out for definite for you. Um, Zarian over on YouTube. Um, uh, any info on the new Endgame loop in the works? Uh, nothing that we can share at the moment, but certainly as we get closer to the launch uh, of incursions, then we will have more details, but nothing we can say just at the moment, but uh, we shall definitely let you know. We like to tell you these things when we can. Uh, you'll definitely probably see it as well. Uh, next one is <clears throat> a nice little screenshot from uh, Tech to Kibbles 960 over on Discord. Uh, a great action shot. Uh, a little bit going on there, uh, getting chased around, things blowing up. Wonderful vista in the background as well. Uh, I, I do like the shots uh, that people uh, send us or post on the Discord um, that has a lot of variety in colour. And I think this is one of the, uh, the the best ones we've seen this week. You've got the explosions, you've got the blues, <clears throat> you've got the pale blues in the greens, oranges, you name it. Everything happening. Um, and uh, yeah, very good. Uh, it was almost, almost going to be the uh, thumbnail. Uh, almost, almost. I did like it. I did like it. Right then, next up, um, we're traveling back in time. XL, you may recognize this screenshot. <laughs> um, this one is a uh, a throwback to the first game, uh, Everspace 1, uh, and some, um, some big action going on right there. Uh, and uh, if you've played Everspace 1, <clears throat> then you'll know these kind of things uh, can, can happen. Now, speaking of Everspace 1, currently, if you haven't played it, you are in for a bit of a treat because it's on sale. Yes, it is. Uh, Everspace 1 and Everspace 2, it's reminded me, uh, are on sale across the ID at Xbox uh, event and also on Humble Bundle. So do check those out if you haven't grabbed them. Have a little look-see. Take a, 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 a good view of what you can get at bargain price. And, uh, yeah, enjoy yourselves within either game if you've not already tried it. Uh, speaking of Everspace 2 specifically, if you haven't tried the game and it does take your fancy, we do offer a free demo, which is available on Steam. Uh, free to download. Take your time with the game. Enjoy it. Um, and then if you want to, you can then continue uh, your, game, your demo gameplay into the full game from your game save if you should purchase it. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, very nice looking uh, picture there, Excel. Well done, well done. Always good. It took ages. I bet it did. I bet it did. Now this, this is quintessential uh, space vista uh, for Everspace Two for me. Um, again, I'm, I'm loving the art team uh, this week. Uh, I think they do a wonderful job. As does everybody else with on the team in their own disciplines, whatever it is, whether it's marketing, whether it's uh, technical support, whether it's design story writing anything i just absolutely love the uh, the art that we can uh, get within the game uh the shadows uh the lighting um the texturing etc and i think this is a fabulous one and this is from a steam user who i've not seen before but they've cracked out some good ones this week and i had to just pick uh, the one and that was i live again and uh yeah absolutely stunning uh scene there and i think you'll all thoroughly agree um and who we got next then <laughs> keep those questions coming uh keep those questions coming we always like to go through them um here we have a, a is this one's from oh winged nightmare uh, over on discord a regular poster um who uh has produced some great uh great shots for us over months now actually months um and and this one Again, the action. You've got the drone at the bottom that's protecting the ship, the front shield that's taking the damage, the shots that are going past. I mean, he's getting some help from drones in all sorts of directions. Uh, whoever has to take this 
uh, beast down is going to have the work cut out. A bit like me in the in the last play segment there. I was getting my, um, you know, death handed to me. Uh, cold, you know. They love to serve it cold. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's a very nice shot. Very nice shot. Um, thoroughly well done, Winged Nightmare. Um, so, a question from Facebook. Uh, Spiffu. Oh, God, this is a, this is a name and a half. Spiffu A-N. We'll go with that. Um, will there ever be a way to get back to a starter lower tier ship for those that want to do challenges? Once you reach a certain point, you cannot downgrade. I know that goes against conventional RPG upgrades, but just so we don't have to start a completely new file. Um, I don't think currently that we do unless you have bought the ship and then you've retained the ship. Um, now, I'm trying to think of a challenge that you would specifically need the lower tier ship for. If it's one for taking off... Um, the plates on a certain ship uh, we do have that one come up from time to time where it's very very difficult because you're very powerful when you come up against these ships and it's very hard to take the plating off uh, what we always suggest there is to knock down as much in terms of firepower and then basically tickle it with the lightest weapon that you can craft so the most common lower tier uh the blood star overseer yeah sorry i couldn't think of the name um that is the one that we come across most often um and literally we just want you to tickle it also um using a um a weapon that doesn't output much power can be helpful so doing crafting of a of a lower level it is, can be quite difficult uh, one thing about the achievements and challenges and the, the kind of tie-in, it's a question that I've been asked uh, uh, a little bit over this week um, because people do talk to me. If you uh, contact support, then you'll be talking to me. Uh, I, I do deal with that. So if you have any issues, then just contact us on support and you'll be, hey, it's Gary, I'll try and help you. Um, is the achievements... If you um, have gone past one and you think, oh, I'm I don't want to start a new save, you can do a new save and any achievement that you unlock on that one will unlock for your account overall because your saves are kind of interlinked. It's on your an account basis. Um, and we do find that sometimes through a bug or a back-end problem that sometimes an achievement doesn't get passed over and unlocked correctly. So it could be you know a, a simple one that you know you can't do i think the one we've had recently was bend it like roslyn where you have to use a thermo gun and then bend shots around an object and it hasn't um transferred correctly to the back end again the easiest way for that is that we can check the game file sometimes that we find that it's been activated but again it hasn't been sent to the back end for unlock what we then suggest do is just a new save, grabbing the thermo gun and then attempting it again, and it should unlock and then it should transfer. It can be a little bit problematic when you're dealing with different back ends. Sometimes bugs happen, you know, but we will always try and help you. So if you do have any issues, do get in touch with us and we'll see if we can uh, guide you or advise you uh, to get uh, around your problem. Uh, next up on the questions, uh, not the questions, on the pictures, is again from Wing Nightmare. As I was saying, some fabulous shots. And this one, they're in a rift with what could be potentially a, a lot of pain with those three drone carriers. Looks like one's just about to disappear in uh, a blaze of glory over there in the top left. Well, they've still got the work cut out with the, the other two. Um, but yeah, ooh, Arc 9000 into the middle of those three would be uh, a nice little boom boom. But you know, it'd be good. It'd be good. <laughs> but yeah, another wonderful shot from uh, our wonderful winged nightmare. Now, next up um, is similar to the screenshot that we saw earlier. This one's from Universe Archblade over on Steam. Uh, crafted some brilliant screenshots for us this week. And um, it's... Uh, uh, an absolutely wonderful um, uh, image. Uh, I did comment to them directly that I love the di the depth of field that they'd use where the ship is just above me is in focus, but then the eye, the exit point um, is slightly blurred. Uh, but yeah, it's very, very nice. I if you do play around with the depth of field, you can get some brilliant shots. Uh, 
again um when one of those things that we do encourage um and then we can all see what you have crafted so uh, please do uh, do play around in the uh, uh the photo mode we do like to see your work and then <laughs> this one uh is from uh, again a new um user uh, and this one was from windward snow and uh this one's a very clever use of uh, the sticky turrets, as you can see. Um, I think it's um, <laughs> very, very clever how they're dealing with certain creatures in the caves uh, that um, want to cause the player ship some harm. So there's some sticky turrets dotted around. And uh, yeah, a very, very um, interesting use, but makes a great screenshot. Maybe not practical in terms of the game, but a very, very cool screenshot. And that is what we do like. I like that originality. It might not be what you do to complete the game, but definitely with our um, uh, our photo mode to create wonderful uh, shots like that. <laughs> very, very good. Very, very good. Uh, there we are. Now, this, again, one of my favorites this week uh, from Universe Archblade over on Steam. The contrast of the background and the area that we are in with the neon glow of the engines uh from their bomber um i mean it's such a contrast but i think it's such a beautiful contrast because you're going into that deep dark murky uh area if you've if you've not been here yet i'm not going to spoil it because i think it's one of the favorite missions uh within the game um, that people do enjoy so do uh, do go check it out but I, I think this player has has grabbed a wonderful um contrasting picture um but yeah uh, a certain parasite uh, is in that murky region uh frog i have grabbed your screenshot uh, i will have to manually put it in but i have grabbed it don't worry um and then we've come up to the last I say last screenshot but again one of the brilliant ones uh in terms of depth of field um an effect i mean the the light spattering onto the um the screen the viewport of the player uh, and everything it's a wonderful shot from uh, nelson over on steam uh, again a new uh, a new image that we haven't seen before but uh a brilliant shot a brilliant shot from from them and again a new person to uh to um our player base uh and uh yeah if i do see screenshots i will comment where i can and give you a thumbs up and uh, uh a nice little comment for for doing the the work now i'm just going to add in a, another screenshot just bear with me because i do need to find it i did grab it i just need to know where i put it and it was from uh, a certain mr frog uh, who uh, cheekily, cheekily, I have to add, uh, did uh, did give us uh, an, a nice little screenshot for myself and Eric, um, if, if I'm honest. So just bear with me there. Let me just go. There we go. Should be into there. And then if we go backwards, there we go. There it is. There it is. So this is um, our custom keyboard for people who, myself and Eric, who um, absolutely forget where the G key is on our keyboards. Um, <laughs> if you haven't seen it, do check it out. It's on our Discord. There's all sorts of uh, not sponsored and all these kind of assumptions down there. But as you can see, a wonderful custom job. We love this fan art and, and the memes and everything. Um, but, you know, I mean, to be honest with you, we'd, pr we'd probably still miss the G key. But, you know, <laughs> it's around there somewhere. But, yeah, but very good work there, Mr. Frog. Uh, very appreciated. And uh, yeah, the, uh, if anybody's old enough, you might remember the um, the speakers there. And those speakers, um, yes, they could tell that you were going to get a uh, a phone call before your phone did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, sold out everywhere by now. That is a good one. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for uh, Mr. Frog for th for that one. Uh, but do check it out <laughs> on our Discord. Great work as always. Right, boys and girls, uh, my time is done. Uh, it's flown by, absolutely flown by, as always. Uh, so just a quick reminder, um, Everspace 1 and 2 are on sale on ID at Xbox Sale and the Humble Bundle Sale as well. Have a look at them. If you've not already dived in, then grab a bargain. You might find a game that you're going to love in there. And uh, yeah, 
hopefully you'll enjoy them uh keep your suggestions coming keep your uh bugs coming we want to know what you find we want to get them fixed everything else uh we are there to serve you we are there to make a great game and we need you to help us make this great game and we're thoroughly appreciative of your time doing so so i'm gonna bid you adieu i'm gonna thank you again for coming and we shall see you in the next one which will be two weeks and hopefully eric will be back in the seat uh as long as he's feeling well uh but in the meantime i mean gary your community manager hope you've enjoyed it we'll see you again very very soon take care folks be good bye bye for now <laughs>